What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. Today we have our PSA update, as we have every Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Uh, before we get into that, if you have been following along with this series, again, I do it every Wednesdays at 6 p.m., uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we do it weekly. So uh, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss it. Hit the notification bell and hit like on the video if you like it, uh, if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Uh, take a look at all my other videos. I got all kinds of content coming out about the hobby and uh, trying to do a little bit more box breaks and stuff like that as we get into it. But um, so if you if you've been joining us, if you if you're hanging on uh, hanging out with us, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I was taking a look at my analytics. About 80% uh, of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. Uh, I would highly encourage you to do so if uh, you're enjoying the video. So um, also. Uh, before we get into the uh, the numbers themselves, if you have not already followed me on Instagram, I'm at Retro Hoop Breaks on Instagram. Uh, I try to post on there as much as possible. I'm trying to get a little bit better, but I do. I'm pretty active in my stories, so um, check that out. And then also in the description uh, of this video, you'll find a link to the Facebook group uh, where a bunch of people are starting to subscribe. It's getting pretty fun in there. Also, people sharing some of their cards, sharing some of their stories. Uh, some of the wins that they've been getting in the gradings uh, as well as um, there's a handful of you that are kind of doing similar work to what um, kind of what I got going on here with you know with pulling some data and uh, there's been a few of you that have been posting your findings uh, on the uh, Facebook group page so if you would like to see some of that additional uh, data pulling and some additional uh, information uh, there's some folks that have been posting uh, their findings on there as well. Apparently, I'm not the only one that's been doing this kind of stuff. So that's pretty dope to see as well. So uh, follow the Facebook group, uh, like the Instagram, uh, follow us on Instagram, and then like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. So uh, let's get right into um, the actual numbers this week. Not very good for uh, PSA. I, I honestly don't know what's going on over there because let me tell you why I say that I'm not just saying that just to just to bash them but I was I, I'm really curious to see what's going on over there I say that because about six weeks ago they were on a really good trajectory um, to get to you know 190 almost 200 thousand cards a week or, or or slabs that they process every week uh, and it just seems like they have yet to recover fully. Uh, ever since the national and so um, you know if we're looking at you know the numbers that were before the national so this was the week before the national they did 160 and then prior to that they were on a pretty good pace uh, to get close to 200,000 uh, if they continued uh, with with the growth that they were doing uh, week over week um, but obviously the national slowed them down so a week prior to the national they dropped down to about 160 the week of the national to 130 the week after the national stayed at about 130,000 uh and then a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel which was the 154,000 so i was kind of figuring okay maybe they might start making some strides um to kind of get back towards that 180 and then continue to grow on that 180 we just didn't see it uh, 150 that week and then this week 143,000 so actually less than the previous week so they're kind of bouncing up and down a little bit um, I'm not really sure what to attribute that to I mean obviously we don't really know what's going on with the inner workings and the uh, kind of the the processes that they use um, I know one thing though uh, that we've been talking a lot about during our live streams if you haven't caught one of our live streams definitely uh, check those out uh, I'll try to do them either Saturdays or Sundays but what I've been hearing a lot from you and those of you that are you know that are pretty uh, you know consistent visitors of the channel and watching the uh, videos and stuff like that and, and hanging out with us in the live streams is that you're starting to recall back a lot of your orders and so um i've been hearing getting a lot of dms in, on instagram and messages on facebook of people who have successfully recalled their orders and for those of you that don't know if your order is not past stage three you can actually call psa uh or contact psa and get that order sent back to you uh, for the cost of shipping so shipping at your cost uh, which is kind of shitty but um, you know that's that's a, an option for those of you who submitted yourself uh, and have cards sitting there that you would like to have back um, that you're just no longer wanting to wait on PSA uh, so I, I know that there, there's a bit of movement towards that 
Um, I can tell you that's both a good and bad thing for PSA. Uh, it reduces obviously their backlog, but it also reduces their potential for income. So um, I don't know how I would feel about that if I was pay, uh, PSA and then just had an influx of order cancellations or order recalls. Um, but you know, I, I think right now they're, the most important thing that they're trying to do is catch up as much as they can. The problem with that is that I just don't see them making the uh, strides that they need to make uh, to make that catch up process as quick as possible. So. Um, you know, I just don't think we're going to see lead times come down anytime soon. I don't, uh, t or turnaround times, uh, reducing anytime soon. Uh, and unfortunately, if you had to ask me, I, I don't really see them opening up any additional services, uh, this year based on the way that they're going. Now, um, the one thing that we don't know is how many people are successfully recalling their orders and what that does to their overall backlog. Is it, millions of people calling their orders back or millions of cards being recalled and thus reducing their overall backlog by more than half or is it you know just a few hundred thousand cards that are being recalled that's only a two or three percent reduction in their overall backlog and they still have this mountain uh, that they have to get through um, what I do know is that their output is significantly lower than it was six weeks ago um, they're doing about 50,000 cards less uh, than they were a week ago, uh, or, or six to eight weeks ago. So that's not a good sign. I don't know if they've reduced their headcount uh, much in the way that HGA did, reducing their headcount for, for some people that just weren't uh, making the cut. Um, you know, obviously one of the things that I've been pretty, you know, vocal about is their inconsistency and their inaccuracy in their gradings. So maybe they're doing something about that, reducing the headcount, cutting out some of the bad people that don't know how to grade. Um, but that's obviously going to hit, uh, hit their production numbers pretty hard. So I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things that you can speculate. There's a lot of speculation. And unfortunately, when it comes to PSA, we don't really have a lot of information about what's going on with them. So all we are left to do is speculate. Um, so, but you know, for this week, again, numbers went down from last week. They're still a little bit higher than they were, uh, during the national, uh, which is kind of their lowest point. But um, they still haven't been making much strides. I was really hoping for them to be in the 160,000 range this week, um, but they, you know, they ended up at 143,000. These are numbers as of Sunday, so I take my snapshots every Sunday. Um, but one of the things that was interesting though is uh, TCG. I think TCG might be, you know, basketball is always going to be number one. Then we got baseball. So normally baseball is number two, football is number three. And then TCG is number four. Um, but this week, I mean, basketball remains king. Uh, but TCG, tons of TCG cards that have, getting, that have gotten graded, uh, that got graded last week. So, um, you know, those of you who are waiting on big TCG orders, hey, this might be, this might be something that, 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 that you're getting. Uh, basketball also is always, you know, just big numbers. But um, one thing I do want to mention is, uh, you know, the reduction that we had from 1.3 million to 1.297 million um, in non-sports cards. And I think it was uh, multi-sport, no, right here, miscellaneous cards from 84,000 to 80,000. Uh, but then the big run up in soccer cards from here to there, right? Almost 25,000. So that was that, that was a, a big, you know, category, you know, the, the managing the categories for those two. So there was probably a lot of soccer cards that were in non-sport and miscellaneous that got reclassified. So I don't know if I've mentioned that, but uh, I remember when I did the numbers that week, I, I thought it was really odd that they reduced, but I didn't really pay attention to the fact that uh, soccer had gone up so much. So that's kind of what, what was going on there. And the numbers kind of match up a little bit. So that was good, good to see there. Um, one of the things I will say about uh, PSA is that the integrity of the data that I'm pulling seems to be pretty consistent. The numbers jive from week to week. So that was good to see, which is why it was so odd for me to see a reduction that week. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen that in the last 20 weeks that I've been pulling this. So, um, you know, again, the, the big thing here is that the numbers went down from last week. I really don't know what to attribute that to. I can only hope that that's what's going on, that they reduced their headcount uh, in an effort to get rid of some people that weren't necessarily uh, doing a good job with grading. Um, but the other thing too is from what I understand is that in order to become a grader, it takes quite a bit of time. Um, 
you know the research and develop uh, the research and and uh, identification phase of the process is kind of the biggest piece and that's kind of where the biggest bottleneck is at the moment um i'll go over that there was a uh, reddit uh, ama that somebody did it was a previous uh psa employee that did a reddit ama um this particular person was an employee at psa and he was in the, he or she i don't know what was in the receiving department so the unboxing and the receiving department um so there was some pretty interesting stuff there i'll be doing a video on that tomorrow uh which will come out and uh what i did is i just went into that ama and i took some snapshots of, of some of his response his or her responses to some of the things because sometimes those get taken down um so I, I don't know if that's still up if it is I'll, I'll definitely provide the link in the video next uh for tomorrow um but at the same time i wanted to kind of grab some snapshots and, and and do a video on some of the responses that i thought were very very informative and very interesting so uh you guys stay tuned for that one tomorrow um again i'm not going to make this any longer than i need to be uh, that it needs to be i think a uh, big uh, takeaway here is that uh the numbers are going down Hopefully that's because they're trying to uh, get a better quality of grader in the house and they're getting rid of the shitty ones. Uh, and then TCG had a big jump this week. So um, hopefully that information is good for you guys. Uh, some of you that have been waiting for your cards, their TCG cards, hopefully you're going to be getting those back pretty soon. Um, but at any rate, let me know what you guys think. Uh, as always, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to look. I don't want to look at them, but I guess we'll take a, we'll take a quick snapshot. I said I was only going to do these like once a week or once a month, but I know some of you like really, I've been getting a lot of you that are sending me questions about, um, you know, what these CTDs mean and all that stuff, but none of these have moved. That hasn't moved much. And the majority of us that are waiting on cards are sitting here, right? Or right here. And, you know. Th those haven't really moved a whole lot. Let me, let me see. Uh, when did I take that? That snapshot was eight seventeen. So yeah, I mean it hasn't moved. The percentage has moved a little bit, but even that percentage hasn't moved, hasn't moved, hasn't moved. Uh, the percentage on that moved a little bit. The percentage on that one moved quite a bit. Um, but again, n none of this stuff is really moving that well. Uh, so again, uh, you know, for as much as I'd like to keep you guys informed, I just really don't think that these CTDs have any value whatsoever. Um, they just, you know, I, I've, I've had several different interpretations of what these mean. And I really, you know, I probably should reach out to PSA at some point and try to get some clarification on that and get somebody who's familiar with this process and what this all means. But so many of you have sent me messages about how these complete through dates are just complete garbage because you've gotten back orders that are way sooner. You've gotten back orders that are way older that are still sitting there. They're just all over the place. So if you want to see them, here they are as of today, 824, um, for what it's worth, right? Um, so anyhow, we'll leave it at that. I'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are here every week at 6 p.m. checking out these update videos. Uh, I enjoy doing the work of pulling this data together and uh, presenting it to you guys every week and giving you my thoughts on it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you find it valuable. Uh, if you do, hit the like button again um, and come join us on the live streams. Join us on the Facebook group and follow me on Instagram uh, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Love y'all. Peace.